system. So start the engine, ST. Okay. Just press once. That'll get it going. Yeah, okay. So, so we go. So what you're going to do, here's the throttle. Okay. Normally, when you're in takeoff mode, uh, you keep your hand on the throttle all the time, just okay. for safe to say. Mm -hmm. In this, because this is so weak and flimsy, yeah. it's easy as you're doing something over there to accidentally move your hand here. Yeah. So I would say, once you put this into the position you want, take your hand off it. Yeah. All right. So is that the throttle on that, the plane? That's the throttle. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So, um, and that would have more resistance than this thing. Okay. All right. Okay. So you could hang on to that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So full throttle. Okay. Uh, grip this like a pistol. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the trigger that you can feel on your index finger, yeah. that's the wheel brakes, and we'll only use that when we land, mm. and you want to stop the airplane from rolling. Okay. okay. So, go full throttle, and you don't need to move this at all, just keep your hand on it. And normally you'd be steering this with your feet. Mm. We don't have that level of complication, because that would confuse people. Yeah. Um, oh, so, yeah. the steering is automatically done. So, 40 miles an hour, tail is up. We're now 50, gently pull that back a little, and you're unstuck. So now manage that, so you're going too steep. Relax it, that's it, and let it, and that's right. So just let it, it'll take a while to respond to what you're doing. Yeah, that's, that's it. what I'm not trying yep, to do. And, that, and that's what, yes, you're right, that's why you have to be gentle. So you tend to do a little bit, see what the plane does. If you need it a bit more, you yeah. do a little bit more. That's it. That's fine. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, interestingly, so we're going to keep on a straight line. We're about 600 feet. I want you to let go of that guy. Let go of this guy. Okay, this speed, watch what happens. Oh, it doesn't like that. Yeah, right, it look, it slows sense. down. This is where you need patience. <laughs> All right? Huh. Oh, okay. Oh. So when it goes down, it speeds up and yeah. gets more lift. When it points up, it slows down and reduces lift. Huh. So it does this, we call it porpoising. Okay. okay? And yeah, plane naturally yeah. will do that. But it will eventually settle. Okay. Yeah? But because we're full throttle, it's going to settle to a climb. Yeah. Now, say, yeah. yeah. now you would think to stop the climb, you want to push this forward. Mm -hmm. You don't. Mm. Okay. Are you going to pull up on the throttle? You? Yes, you, you reduce the throttle. Yeah. So if you're flying straight and level, to increase your altitude, you increase throttle. Yeah. To decrease altitude, you reduce throttle. Okay. okay. You don't do that. Yeah. If you're going straight and level and you want to slow down, you pull back on that. Okay. And that will put the nose up, it will slow down. It won't necessarily go up. Okay. okay? Mm. So we. So we're at 800 feet, so I want to start to stop the climb. So mm -hmm. why don't we reduce the throttle? Well, so real, real quick, if we're really in a plane, yep. would I be able to do this? Would I be able to kind of like let it ride like this a little bit and kind of not move into it? Yes, so, so like it would mm -hmm. kind of bounce. So, so there, there are trims, mm -hmm. and this plane is nicely trimmed. When you, when you learn to fly a plane, you learn how to trim the plane. Okay. And, and that controls here, okay. Okay. Yeah. I control the trim. So when, when you say you trim, go. you mean just like Is tiny, it tiny, tiny adjustments, yeah. adjustments okay. that are fixed, yeah. not variable like this. Oh, okay, okay. <coughs> so let's, and what will happen is, see we're doing less than 60. Yeah, we're doing like 55. Yeah, okay, it'll settle about 60. If I trim this down, I won't do it much, but if I trim this down, it might still climb, but do it at 65. Yeah, okay. All right? Huh. So we want to slow this climb down because we're way too high. So he's back on the throttle until you hear the engine drop. Okay. Drop okay. Then take your hand off this in case we move it. See what happens to the climb. Just kind of straightens out. So it straightens out. And I happen to know it's still climbing. We're at 2,000 feet. Yeah, I can still yeah. see it. Yeah. Aren't we almost at... Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. Is it, that's, that's where we are, right, basically? Uh, we're south of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're way south of us. No. Yeah, this... Um, well, I'm sorry. 
Um, no, we're, we're south of us, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go over us, aren't we? Okay. So, so we're, we're pretty high here, so let's cut that throttle significantly. Let's see what happens. Bit more. Bit more. That's it. Now, hands off, I guess we can do it. Let's see, we're about 3,000 feet. We're way too high. Yeah, that's why I saw the 3,000. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's about 2,000 more feet than yeah. I was. So you see, this is now settled. We're actually probably about level. So, well, what's the altimeter? Modern yeah. airplanes do have a level and stuff. Yeah, yeah the, I mean, uh, a modern airplane will have an, uh, an inclined um, yeah. uh, meter. It'll tell you how much you're going up, how much you're going down. Yeah, so we're going down a little bit. So why don't we do a couple of maneuvers? Why don't we, we're going to turn to the left. So we're going to tilt it to the left so you get about that angle on the wings. Okay. And then once you get there, so if you hold this over, the yeah. plane will just keep tilting until it's upside down. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah, so I want right. to move it very slowly. So you, you want to move it over. So the further you move, the faster it will roll. Yeah. All right? So slowly move it over until the wings are at the right angle. Yeah. And then ease off and just, again, just like you worked it on the climb out. Work it into the correct position to keep the wings there. Yeah, so the, I'm just the, trying to go like this. Yeah, the plane, the plane itself wants to level. Yeah. You want to keep it there, so yeah. you need a little bit. Okay. So a, there is a dead spot in the middle just for stability. So bring it over a little bit more. There you go. Yeah. It's fine. If you, if, now try and hold it at that angle. bring it around and then I'll tell you where to stop. Okay. We're actually going to, we, we come up from the runway, we're doing a 180 degree turn and we're going to go back down past the airport. We'll oh, see okay. the airport on our left. <clears throat> so this is how you would generally turn in a real Absolutely. Turn. Yeah, and in a turn you, the plane would generally lose lift so you might need a little bit of back pressure to keep it level. But this is such a gradual turn. That's it, yeah, that's good. So I want to teach you a thing called nudging. Mm -hmm. um, Do you want to try, are you good? Um, I want to teach you a thing called nudging, and, I, and it's easier for me to show you. So let's, let, let me take you off course a little bit. Okay. So we're off course a little bit. So when you did that turn, you held the turn on. Because it was yeah. a long turn. I only want to go a little way. So what I do, and because I know that the plane will level itself, number one, number two, whatever it's tilted, it'll be turning. Mm. It doesn't matter what I'm doing with it. Yeah. So what I'll do to nudge, I'll get it to tilt, and then I'll put it back. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. is to get to the right is I move it a little bit, but then I got back and forth and it started that's right. to talk a little bit. So I let the plane do its own settling. I'm spot on there. It's a little yeah. nudge. Yeah. All right? That's nice. So, uh, let's let's keep this. Now here's the wrong. See that wrong way there? Okay. That's the one you took off from. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's okay. funny because I've been looking at that at the map the whole time we've been here at the actual Google map. Mm. You mm. know, and I'm surprised that there's such a significant airport right here. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're about 2,200. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna reduce your throttle just a little. So we can cram it down. So a normal approach in a light aeroplane to an airport is what they call a left downwind, that's the default, unless the uh, air traffic control tell you otherwise. <clears throat> so we would have taken off into the wind, or what we say, upwind. Mm. Uh, when we turn around, we're now going in the opposite direction, so we're going downwind. Uh, okay. So we call this a downwind leg. Mm. All right? And normally a downwind leg approach to a runway to an airport would be between 1,000 and 1,200 feet. Okay, uh, but we're at 2,000. <laughs> we're, we're about 2,000, yeah. yeah. So, um, ATC might be having words with me. Right? Yeah. All right? Um, Especially because I've never flown a plane and I'm up Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, what we're going to do is what, once we get over the first coastline here into the water or about there, and by the way, this, this little bay here that we're aiming for is um, um, 
Johannesburg, which is where Canada's there. Mm. So once we get over the Canada's house, number one, way to the Canada's. <laughs> number, two, number two, we're going to do a left-hand turn, but not a 180 like this. We're going to do a 90 degree turn and go over this bay, which is Lewis Bay. Okay. We're going to do that for a minute or two, and then we're going to turn again left, come over Hyannis Harbour, which is here, okay. and you should have this runway. Right, yeah, right. so it'll be a left, a straightaway, and then a left. left. So, yeah. okay, so instead of a and that's a normal approach. Yeah, so no. we're on downwind. We do a left, and that's on base. Okay, base leg. And then we return left again, coming into the wrong way, and that'll be our final. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, why don't you nudge over just a little bit out so we, we're more on that point. So hold it over gently until you start to, until it rolls. Now go back. That's it. I'm going to do the rest of it. There we go. What is this red thing? Fuel tank. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, it's just a design thing. It's part of the design. It's part, thing. yes. Yeah. So this pin in the middle is on a float, so that gives me an idea of how much fuel we've got. Oh if it's my full, gosh. If it's full, it'll be up here, and if it's empty, it'll be down here. That's funny. Yeah. So we only put 15 minutes of fuel in this. Oh um, my gosh. <laughs> So we don't get carried away. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. That's a 1930s airplane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got this. Instead of a big screen, I got three screens in my panorama. Yeah. That's really nice. And the, the left screen is out the left window, so it looks like this. Oh, cool. So, yeah. And, and of course, if you fly the plane, you You'd be using this left window all the time. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 So we're back to about 1,100 feet. We are absolutely spot on where we should be. Awesome. Yeah. And the ATC is saying, oh, about time to. <laughs> <laughs> air traffic control. Okay. Air, ATC, yeah. air traffic yeah. control. Yeah. Well, I've flown hundreds oh. of times, but I've never yeah. been in a small plane or anything like that. So this is interesting now. Airfield is in red. Oh. Means to say they've closed it to what we call BFR, visual flight rules. Oh. So I'd have to come in on instruments. Oh. I don't have instruments <laughs> on this plane, yeah. so I'd have to go to some other airport. Yeah. So I'd probably go out to Chatham and some other tip. So have is you this, been to Chatham? Uh, no, we, we were thinking about it today. Mm. But we didn't, did this. Is this is this real? This is real. Okay, this so this is up to date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, that's yeah. really cool. So do your left turn. Okay, just 90 degrees. Nine, right? Yeah. So, be good about that. That's fine. That's perfect. That's a nice, comfortable turn. So, if you had a passenger, they'd be in front, by the way. You'd be flying from the back seat. Really? Yeah. That was pretty typical in aeroplanes of that era huh. because of balance. It was so very light. Oh, yeah. See that mast out there? Yeah, that's Aim towards that. So uh, we've come down a little bit too much, so how are we going to get a little bit more altitude there? Probably uh, thrust, right? Throttle, yeah. Mm -hmm. So increase the throttle a bit. Maybe a tad more. That's it. I don't know. Maybe a bit more. Looks like it'll almost match up perfectly with that. Yeah, look at that. Spot on. So we can just see it's just gone now, the entrance to the Miami's Harbour. Slow it down. So there's the cross run. There's your run okay. So we'll aim a little bit. We, we cut in a bit too. So that's mine? That's your run okay. So you want to go over there a little bit and do a dog bit. Oh, and nudge okay. it in. Yeah. 
So I'm going to go right and then... No, right. you're, you're fine where you are. Okay. So, you see those bright lights to the left? Yeah. Uh, both of them are white, which means we're a little bit too high now. Okay. If the back one is red, that means we're good. If both of them are red, we're too low. So now do your nudge turn. We're too high, so we're going to cut the throttle. Now, throughout all this, you want to keep the horizon in view. You don't want to let the plane drop. Okay, so yeah. I want to pull yeah. it up. Yeah. And aim as, as if you're going to... So, so I'm getting so ready to land that. Yeah, you are. Now, you're going a bit slow, so let the nose drop a little bit, but try and keep it, that's it. So try and keep the horizon just, just about in view. I was going to say, it really sounds like it's choked almost yeah, a little it was, bit. It was on idle. Yeah, idle, that's right. So the red is good or bad? The uh, red back is good, yeah. The front one, see the front one is still white. Yeah. The front one goes to red, it means red back white. Oh, so you want red at top and white bottom? Red over white, yeah. So nudge it as head to the right, just to line up. Here. That's it, See how it just drifted on there? Yeah. yeah. It's good. There's your, there's, your, yeah, there's your gentle and, and your patience. Heavy duty stuff. There you go. Look at this, fantastic. And, it, and again, it's all in engine control. Now, just before we touch the ground, pull back very gently just to keep the nose a little bit above. Oh. So I'm going to shut down the throttle for you. Yeah. This is great. Look, at this dead center even. Thanks. <laughs> you got my job. <laughs> you have to start to pull just gently back, not too much. Um, that's it, that's all you need, just a little. There you go, perfect. And pull the trigger. Pull the trigger and hold it. Look at that. Nice. Hey, that was Spot cool. on. <laughs> Good job. That was neat. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. As I always say, I'll be your wingman.